Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today, we gather here to pay tribute to some remarkable individuals who have recently left us. In this video, we aim to remember their achievements, honor their legacies, and celebrate the impact they made in their respective fields. Join us as we reflect on their lives and the contributions they have made. Len Goodman Our first tribute is dedicated to the esteemed Len Goodman, whose name has become synonymous with the world of dance. Len, a long-serving judge on Dancing with the Stars and Strictly Come Dancing, passed away on April 22nd at the age of 78. It is with heavy hearts that we share this news. Len Goodman, a former professional ballroom dancer and British champion, made significant contributions to the world of dance. As head judge on Strictly Come Dancing for 12 years, starting from its launch in 2004, he played a vital role in reviving interest in ballroom dancing on both sides of the Atlantic. His knowledge, expertise, and constructive criticism endeared him to both the participants and the audience, making him an integral part of the show's success. Dancing with the Stars and Strictly Come Dancing became surprise hits, capturing the hearts of millions of viewers worldwide. Len's presence and insightful commentary added depth and excitement to the dance competition, making it one of the most beloved and popular shows on both the BBC and the international stage. Sadly, Len Goodman had been battling bone cancer, and on that fateful Saturday night, he peacefully passed away. As we remember Len, let us acknowledge the tremendous impact he made on the dance community and the overall significant impact he had in bringing ballroom dancing to the forefront of popular culture. Barry Humphreys Barry Humphreys was a comedic genius who brought laughter to countless audiences throughout his illustrious career. Born on a stage in Melbourne, Australia, he quickly rose to prominence as one of the most talented comedians of his time. With his unparalleled ability to create memorable characters, he enchanted audiences around the world. One of Humphrey's most iconic and most beloved characters was Dame Edna Everidge, a larger-than-life persona that captivated audiences with her quick wit, extravagant outfits, and sharp tongue. Dame Edna became a cultural phenomenon in the 1970s, winning over hearts and tickling funny bones across the United Kingdom and beyond. Her popularity soared, leading to her very own TV chat show, The Dame Edna Everidge Experience, in the late 1980s. Unfortunately, on April 22nd, we received the news of Barry Humphrey's passing at the age of 89. He had been in the hospital in Sydney, recovering from complications following hip surgery he underwent in March. Tragically, his health took a turn for the worst. Despite his struggles, his family remembers him as someone who never lost his brilliant mind, unique wit, and generosity of spirit. His legacy will continue to inspire future generations of comedians and entertainers. Barry Humphrey's impact on the world of comedy cannot be overstated. With his quick improvisation, razor-sharp satire, and comedic timing, he brought joy to millions. His ability to seamlessly transform into a multitude of characters showcased his versatility and creativity. Barry's unique wit and ability to poke fun at societal norms made him an influential figure in the comedy industry. Today, we pay tribute to his extraordinary talent and the laughter he brought into our lives. Mark Stewart Let us now turn our attention to Mark Stewart, a pioneering figure in the UK post-punk music scene. Born in 1960 and raised in Bristol, England, Mark's passion for music led him to form the pop group in 1977. Alongside his youth club friends John Waddington and Simon Underwood, and later joined by Gareth Sager and Bruce Smith, the pop group created a distinctive sound that pushed the boundaries of punk and challenged conventional music norms. It is with a heavy heart that we share the news of Mark Stewart's passing on April 21. Although the exact cause of his death remains undisclosed, his departure has left a void in the music industry, and his absence will be felt deeply by fans around the world. His music touched the hearts and minds of many, and his influence will continue to resonate. Mark Stewart will be remembered as not only the vocalist, but also one of the founding members of the pop group. Their experimental sound, characterized by a fusion of punk, funk, and dub, broke new ground and paved way for a future generation of musicians. Mark's distinctive voice and thought-provoking lyrics added depth and complexity to the band's music, establishing their unique identity within the post-punk genre. The pop group's impact extended far beyond their time together. Their fearless approach to music and their willingness to challenge societal norms left an indelible mark on the industry. Mark Stewart's contributions as a vocalist and founding member of the band played a crucial role in shaping the post-punk movement, inspiring countless musicians and fans alike. Today, we honor his memory and the lasting influence of the pop group's groundbreaking music. Ron Patch Hamilton Ron Patch Hamilton, a beloved figure in Christian children's entertainment, brought joy and inspiration to countless young hearts with his musical talents, voice acting skills, and captivating performances. He left an indelible mark on the industry. 
Sadly, Ron Hamilton battled dementia in the later years of his life. The condition, which affects memory and cognitive abilities, posed a significant challenge for him. However, despite these difficulties, Ron continued to bring happiness to children through his endearing career. Patch the Pirate, this lovable and resilient character, became a symbol of hope and perseverance. Ron Hamilton's journey as Patch the Pirate began in 1978, when he was diagnosed with cancer and had to undergo the removal of his left eye. In response to this life-altering event, he created the character Patch the Pirate to inspire children facing challenges and instill them in a sense of faith and courage. Ron, along with the family, oversaw Majesty Music, an organization founded in 1973 by his father-in-law under the name Musical Ministries. Through this platform, Ron produced music and materials that became integral to Christian children's entertainment. Ron Hamilton's music and entertainment touched the lives of countless children and families. His songs, filled with uplifting messages and biblical teachings, provided a soundtrack of faith and positivity. The character of Patch the Pirate became a beloved figure, offering not only entertainment but also a valuable life lesson. Ron's impact extended far beyond his immediate audience, and his legacy continues to inspire newer generations of young minds. Coco Dadal Our next tribute is dedicated to Coco Dadal, whose real name was Rashida Williams. Coco was a black transgender woman who made a significant impact on the world of film and representation. She gained recognition from her involvement in the acclaimed documentary, Kokomo City, which premiered at the 2023 Sundance Film Festival. Tragically, Coco Dadal was found murdered in Atlanta on April 18 at the age of 35. These circumstances surrounding her death remain under investigation, leaving a sense of grief and shock among her loved ones and the community. The Atlanta Police Department released a statement confirming the incident and expressing their commitment to determining the circumstances surrounding her untimely passing. Coco Dadal's identity as a black transgender woman added a vital layer of representation and visibility to the film industry. Her presence in Kokomo City highlighted the experiences, struggles, and triumphs of the transgender community, shedding light on important social issues. Coco's story resonated with the audience, fostering understanding and empathy for those whose voices are often marginalized or silenced. Coco Dadal's impact goes beyond her involvement in Kokomo City. She stood as a symbol of strength, resilience, and self-acceptance. Her story challenged societal norms and broke barriers, paving the way for greater inclusivity and representation. Today, we remember Coco's spirit, courage, and the significance of her journey, acknowledging the importance of embracing diversity and promoting equality in all aspects of life. Todd Hames Todd Hames, a prominent figure in the theater industry, made a significant impact as a driving force behind the Roundabout Theater Company. Born with a passion for the arts, Todd dedicated his life to transforming the Roundabout into one of the country's most premier nonprofit theaters. His visionary leadership and unwavering dedication propelled the company to new heights, establishing it as a beacon of excellence in the theatrical landscape. Under Todd Hames' guidance, the Roundabout Theatre Company flourished, presenting a diverse range of productions that captivated audiences and garnered critical acclaim. His commitment to nurturing emerging talent and staging innovative works reshaped the theatre scene, making it more inclusive and accessible to a wider audience. Todd's visionary approach and meticulous attention to detail raised the bar for nonprofit theatres across the nation. Despite his remarkable achievements, Todd Hames faced his own battle with osteosarcoma, a form of bone cancer. He bravely confronted the challenges posed by his illness, seeking treatment and undergoing rigorous therapies. However, on April 19, complications arising from osteosarcoma ultimately led to his passing in New York City at the age of 66. Todd's unwavering spirit and determination in the face of adversity serve as a testament to his strength and resilience. Todd Hames' legacy in the theater community is immense. His visionary leadership, artistic vision, and unwavering dedication to the arts have left an indelible mark. He nurtured countless talents, provided a platform for creativity, and shaped the future of American theater. Todd's profound impact will continue to resonate for years to come, as his contributions have paved the way for generations of artists and theater enthusiasts.